What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with another Minecraft video tutorial for you guys. Um and today I think I have outdone myself once again. <laughs> I have ended up coming up with a three by three by three uh vertical piston double piston extender. Um and it works very well. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll stop tooting my own horn and uh, go ahead and press the button. You can see it goes ahead and extends it two blocks up. And if I press it again, you'll see that it goes ahead and retracts the block. So it's very small, very compact. It is three by three by three. So it's a great size. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to build it. Uh, I have two wools here. I have cyan and I have gray. And each wool will represent something different. Uh, the cyan wool I will use for the extension method and the gray wool I will use for the uh, when it unextends. So anyway, um, basically I'm just going to build it up off the ground and as you can see here uh, we'll just put the pistons in the center, put the blocks on top here and uh, these blocks will just represent the floor and what we want to go ahead and do is place a block here in the corner, go down a block and remove that one in the center place some dust there. This is your input block right here. And you want to go ahead, place that there. This here, set it to three ticks. Go ahead, build it up one. Then we want to go ahead, place a torch there, and a torch right there. And it will extend the block up. You can go ahead, put that there. And then we're going to go ahead and put a block right here. And so basically right now, as you can see, the extension method works but it will not completely pull down the block so we're going to go ahead and we'll do that next in the cyan wool so we're going to go do this like so and then what we want to go ahead and do is put down a repeater here and we want to put did the second time um, so we'll go ahead and if you watch this piece of dust right here I'll uh, watch very carefully. As you can see, this piece of dust just continuously flashes. And so, if I make it extend, and right after it extends, I do that, you can hear the tra uh, the uh, torch burn out. And it doesn't get pulled down the second time. Um, now, you have to do that consecutively. Within a half a second delay, you have to press the button once again. So if you wait a second after you press the button the first time, uh, this won't burn out. And uh, I will prevent the issue from occurring. So it's very simple. Um, I will go ahead and talk about the different components. That ends the tutorial. Uh, I kind of want to give an explanation now since I've been doing my Redstone 101 video. So you guys uh, who want to know how to build your own versions of this or whatnot uh, can know. So basically, uh, this part of the circuit right here, um, from this button down to here, to here, to here, and even this torch right here uh, executes a monostable circuit. And we'll come over here, um, and I have it set up. Um, the only difference is actually we'll do this just like this. This is the first component of the double vertical piston extender. And if you watch this torch right here, upon pressing this button, there is a quick flash um, of this torch. And that causes this um, to extend. Um, now, as soon as I hit this button, this dust gets powered, which powers this block, which powers this piston. And so this piston, uh, bottom piston right here, extends straight upward. And then this torch emits a quick pulse, which goes right into this block and ends up powering this. And then, of course, we have a uh, um, quick, uh, once all that happens, uh, there's a quick pulse to this, um, which will turn this into a burnout torch. It'll start burning out. Um, because uh, it creates a one tick clock and obviously as you can see it takes about two seconds for a torch to burn out and so if you do the one second um, the torch won't burn out and so this keeps flashing and just perfectly before it turns off this piston retracts the tip, uh, middle piston 
and this send its last one tick pulse straight to the middle tip piston to allow it to pull down that last part. Um, so anyway, I'm actually going to go ahead and do some slow motion of each angle of the four corners of this device so you all can see what is happening. So as you can see, um, hopefully with that slow motion, you can see all the components working together to uh, allow this to become a double vertical piston extender. Uh, let me know what you think of that. I thought it might be a good idea for the people who are trying to learn so they can kind of see what's happening. Um, but it may also be confusing. So let me know what you think. Um, so anyway, guys, this has been Doc Redstone. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Peace out.